Hello everyone and welcome to the Astrology News Report. This is the December 18th, 2016 edition. I'm your intrepid host, Ron Berger. In this segment, we'll take a look at upcoming planetary patterns and predictions. What's on the celestial agenda for December 18th to December 25th and beyond? So, the big event this week is Mercury begins a retrograde period on Monday, December 19th at 21 degrees Sagittarius. Since Mercury is the planet of facts, and Sagittarius is a sign devoted to its own beliefs, this is not such a good placement for Mercury. While in this sign, Mercury's objective information is forced to serve at the mercy of the subjective truth of Sagittarius. Another way of putting this is, everyone feels entitled to their own facts. So, more fake news on the way. When the planet of communications is backwards in the zodiac, communications get screwed up more than usual. Delays and mistakes are more likely. People seem more irrational. In other words, the usual Mercury retrograde precautions will apply. Maybe more so this time, since one of the traits of the sign Sagittarius is to obstinately refuse to admit to a mistake. So, be ready for misunderstandings, misinterpretation, distortions of facts and data, misinformation, media spin, and so forth and so on. Note that while Mercury is in Sagittarius, which is Jupiter's sign, Jupiter is in Virgo, which is Mercury's sign. Thus, Mercury and Jupiter are in Parivatana Yoga, in other words, an exchange of sign rulerships, which creates a powerful connection between the significations of these two planets. Jupiter, the planet of truth and wisdom, morals and ethics, but when linked up to retrograde Mercury, while Mercury is in a sign known for self-righteous devotion to previously formed beliefs, there's a high potential for running into difficult situations due to differences of opinion and belief. Regarding Jupiter, there's another thing happening. Jupiter is now in position at the end of Virgo, where it is being directly opposed by Uranus, which is at the end of Pisces, which is Jupiter's other sign. Uranus is itself just coming to the end of its retrograde period, meaning the planet is stationary in the zodiac and therefore very powerful for effects. The planet of sudden events, rebellion, independent action, disruption, and so on, opposes the planet of truth, law, justice, wisdom, prosperity, banks and bonds. Generally, this is not a good situation for Jupiter and its significations, which will be subject to disruption over the coming weeks. On the other hand, the rebels, signified by Uranus, will be encouraged by the influence of Jupiter. So, between Mercury being retrograde and Uranus opposing Jupiter, we can expect a high potential for unusual events as well as problems distinguishing fact from fiction. Mercury will remain in its retrograde phase for the usual three weeks duration until January 7th when it then returns to normal forward motion in the heavens. Now I'm going to go through the zodiac and give a brief analysis for each of the sidereal rising signs. For Aries rising charts, retrograde Mercury will be affecting the ninth house, the house of beliefs, philosophies, and religion. 
So for Aries, the planet of communications, already in relationship with the planet of beliefs, gets an even more pronounced by being in the house of morals, ethics, and beliefs. With Mercury retrograde, your explanations and opinions won't make sense to anyone and will likely arouse others' ire. Since this sector of the chart connects to your father and guru, those relationships are especially likely to experience problems at this time due to conflicts in beliefs. Since Mercury is the planet of travel, being retrograde in the house of long-distance journeys is an especially negative indication for taking a trip. Taurus rising people will have Mercury retrograde in their 8th house, where it will affect financial involvements with others. A misunderstanding concerning joint finances with your partner arises due to a difference of opinion or a misrepresentation of the facts of the matter. The 8th house is connected to contracts, and since Mercury is the planet of signatures, signing any contract at this time is not recommended. Mercury is the planet of rational mind, and therefore the planet of making choices. The 8th house is the house of secret actions. So, be careful that you don't choose to do something in secret that then produces an unintended result leading to another downside of the 8th house, scandal and humiliation. For Gemini rising charts, Sagittarius is your 7th house sign, putting Mercury retrograde in your house of partnership and marriage. Retrograde Mercury signifying miscommunication in this sector of your chart means that you are headed for difficulty with your significant other. Retrograde Mercury guarantees there will be misunderstanding, which will likely have its roots in the self-righteousness that Sagittarius is prone to. Therefore, your Gemini powers of diplomacy will be essential at this time. The seventh house includes other one-on-one -on -one relationships as well, such as clients. So if you have clients, expect some trouble and or delays in communicating with them. If you are Cancer Rising, your sixth house is where retrograde Mercury will be manifesting. This is the house of struggle, difficulties, problems. So having a difficult transit combination in this part of the chart is highly problematic. Mercury in Sagittarius has preconceived opinions, which leads to misinterpreting the problem, which then leads to making mistakes. The sixth house is also your job, which becomes a venue for equipment breakdowns and misunderstandings with co-workers and or underlings. The other signification of the sixth house, your personal health, can also suffer. Mercury is the planet of making decisions, so beware of an incorrect diagnosis or a misconception of what the doctor recommended. For Leo rising people, Mercury will be retrograde in your fifth house. The people of the fifth house, your lover, and or your child become a source of misunderstanding and frustration. The other significations of the fifth house won't fare so well either. For instance, this would not be a good time for making a speculative investment. A creative project begun now will run into all sorts of problems since the birth chart of the project will forever contain a retrograde Mercury. The fifth house is teachers and teachings, and since Mercury is the planet of study and learning, this would not be the best time to be trying to learn something. Mercury will be retrograde in the fourth house for Virgo rising charts. Since the fourth house is actions in the home, domestic life becomes the venue for the backwards Mercury energy pattern. 
Mercury is usually okay in this part of the chart. It's the planet of rational thinking in the house of home life. But Mercury retrograde indicates problems will arise amongst members of your household due to poor communication. Your car, another signification of the fourth house, and which, after all, is a piece of equipment, may suddenly develop an annoying issue. Mother is also represented by the fourth house. Communication problems with her are yet another likely manifestation of this transit. Sagittarius is the third house for Libra rising people. Mercury has a particular affinity for this part of the chart since Mercury and the third house signify everyday activities as well as the use of skills and talents. But with Mercury retrograde, the actions tend to backfire and dealing with daily operations becomes a challenge when little things like everyday communications are screwing up all over the place. Equipment malfunction is another manifestation of Mercury retrograde periods, which will likewise affect your daily operations. Communications with the third house people, in other words, siblings and neighbors, are also subject to communication problems during these weeks. For Scorpio people, Mercury will be retrograde in the second house, the house of speech. This is obviously not a good thing. Mercury in Sagittarius is already predisposed to having opinions, and with the planet of speech retrograde, these opinions somehow don't get expressed right, resulting in frustrating misinterpretations. The second house is also the nuclear family, which becomes a likely area for the problems to show up. Not a good thing for the holiday parties and family get-togethers if you are Scorpio rising. Since the second house is personal finances and Mercury is the planet of business transactions, you have to be especially careful of making mistakes with your money. For Sagittarius rising people, Mercury will be retrograde in the first house, making you, yourself, the generator of the retrograde problems. The house of self-awareness and self-projection gets distorted by retrograde Mercury, leading to irrational behavior, creating wrong impressions, mistaken responses, misinterpretation by others, frustrating delays, Basically, all the shortcomings Mercury retrograde is known for. Maybe you could go find a rock to go hide under for the next three weeks. If you are Capricorn rising, Mercury is retrograde in your 12th house, where it will play upon your subconscious. You will hear whispering behind your back, which might or might not actually be real. And then there will be all the worry and paranoia due to your own confused thoughts running around in your brain. This is the sector of the chart indicating sleep, which will likely be disturbed, and dreams, which will be more irrational than usual. The twelfth house is unknown people, in other words, communications with strangers, which will tend to result in misunderstandings. This is also the house of expense and loss, so be careful of bad decisions made at this time which are likely to cost you. On the other hand, a retrograde planet helps you look inside yourself. Perhaps you should just go on a meditation retreat for the next three weeks. Aquarius rising people will have retrograde Mercury in their 11th house where it will affect communications with the 11th house people friends and associates, and the elder sibling. So, while attending those holiday parties, you have to be especially careful of not hearing things correctly, of not responding appropriately. The planet of making rational choices retrograde in your house of goals and ambitions means this is not a good time to make decisions with regards to your aspirations and objectives. 
Mercury is the planet of business transactions. When it is retrograde in the 11th house of profit and reward, it can introduce problems when cashing in on your accomplishments. If you are Pisces rising, you will have Mercury retrograde in your 10th house, where it can cause damage to your business and professional activities. Beginning something new in your career while Mercury is retrograde will ensure that the new endeavor will have endless problems and may even fail. Make sure that you have your bullshit meter activated for all business communications, proposals from others, and even transactions, all of which are suspect for the next three weeks. The tenth house represents authority figures, anybody from government officials to your boss. Communications with these people are more likely to result in misunderstandings for you during this time period. All right, so that's a tour of the Zodiac and the 12 signs. But we also have another thing happening this week on Wednesday, December 21st. It's the winter solstice. This is when the sun reaches its most distant point down low on the horizon, as seen from the northern hemisphere, that is, and subsequently begins the return trip back up in the sky, indicating that in a few more months, warm weather and the growing season will return. The sun, coming back from its faraway journey, was seen as cause for celebration in traditional cultures. In Vedic astrology, this time period is considered to be weak for results. The sun is in transition, changing directions. So the idea is that you want to avoid starting important new endeavors for the three days before and after the solstice. With Mercury retrograde as well, it's not a good time to be starting anything new in any case. Okay, that'll do it for this week. Thanks for visiting astrologynewsreport.com. I'll be posting updates during the week, as usual, on Twitter at Astro News Report.